Well, praise God. We welcome you once again, those that are here and, and those that are on live stream. We welcome you once again to uh, Praise Chapel, Baldwin Park, here in the city of, 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 of Ontario, okay? Our Bible studies here at our David and our Desi's home. Glory, glory to God. And I, I believe that, 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 that uh, God has something for us today. I Amen. believe that uh, I believe that, that uh, His word is, is really strong. His word is the truth, and that's what we need to hear. And the truth is going to be what sets us free. You know, once we hear the truth, we have an understanding. You know? And the more understanding we get, the closer we get to the Lord, because we begin to understand what He's saying to His word. What he's saying to his people, what he wants for for his people, and so our, the message today is is, uh, is uh, you can decide your legacy. A long time ago, I I, I taught on legacy, but this was a, a different teaching. You can decide your legacy, and in the Bible, you find many men, many men and women that has left a legacy. So if you go with me into the book of, of uh, Second Chronicles, in Second Chronicles uh, chapter 34, Chapter 34, and we'll start with verse from 1 to 3. Amen? And it says, Josiah was 8 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned in Jerusalem for 31 years. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. And he walked in the, in the ways of, of David his father, and decline neither to the right hand nor to the left. For in the eighth year of his reign, while he was yet young, he began to seek after 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 the God of, of, of David, his father. And in the twelfth year he began to purge Judah and Jerusalem from the high places and the grooves and the carved images and the molten images. Father, we thank you for your word. I pray, Father God, that your Holy Spirit will just Speak to us today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to understand, Father God. Help us, Father God, to hear from you, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. So we see that, uh, that, 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 that Josea, Josea was eight years old when he came to the Lord. And the Bible talks that, the Bible says that, that, that uh, when, he was, when, he was, uh, when he was almost uh, 16 years old, he began to seek God. He began to find, want, want to know more about God. And he left a legacy, and this is one person that, uh, if we look back and see his, uh, it, it read his story about how or what he went through and what he did. But uh, can you imagine somebody at eight years old and being a king already at the age of eight? Now, how many eight-year-old boys do you see around right now that that are that are kings? Or, or even, or even do any, any anything uh, 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 for the Lord, you know. But here, this, this young boy, he was he was at eight years old. He, he became a king, and uh, and the Bible said that 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 went, by the time that he was uh, he was uh, sixteen years old, after eight years there, he began to he began to uh, 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 clean Israel and purge Israel out of idolatry of the sin. And he began to be, rebuild the temple. Now we see a, a young man, eight years old, sixteen already, not thinking about his buddies, not thinking about what's going on, but knowing that something was wrong with Judah, something was wrong with, with the people that he was that he was king over at that young age. There was adultery in that in that in that place. There was there, there was adultery, so he began. To clean out idolatry, he began to clean out all the all the all the all the statues, all all the all the uh, whatever they had to where they were idolized, you know. And he began to 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 clean everything out and rebuild the temple. 
And right now, we see people right now that, that uh, they're, they're in an idolatry, but not of a calf or whatever it is, but idolatry of their jobs, idolatry of, 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 their, of, of uh, where, 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 uh, where they go to school, or they, they're forgetting about God, but they're, that they're, they're, they're going after other things instead of the Lord. They, they put the, the world first before God. That's idolatry. When you put the world first in anything before God, you're getting idolatry because you're putting God to one side and worshiping those, that, those things that are out there. So this the Hosea, Hosea saw that this was going on. So he began he began to, to to strip down, he began to he began to clean house over there. But during that during that time, as he was cleaning out that that that, that, that temple and everything, and during that time a priest that was there uh, 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 discovered some of the long lost scrolls of, of God at the, that was in the temple. In other words, if you ever clean out your yard, your, your, your garage, and you find things, oh my God, look at this, you find something that's been there for a long time, yeah. you know, oh, I want this sealed, I want to keep it, oh, throw it away, you know. But, 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 but see, but they were cleaning the temple now, and, and the priest found the scrolls that were there for years. That, that, uh, that was God's, uh, God's word. So when he took it to Hosea, you know, uh, and they read it to him, they read it to him, and he, and he heard what was in them. Then, then he realized, he realized that that the that the people, the his people, who had gotten far away from God because of the scrolls that he had read, and they had, they had gotten away from God. So what happened? Just like uh, just like you go over and over again because of what's happening right now in this in this time in this time of uh, in our in our age right now. How many people have gotten away from God? How many do you know right now that went to church with us, that was there in church and not, aren't there anymore? You know, how many of those that are out there that, that, that are backed away? And, and Hosea saw all this. He saw that the people through the, through the scrolls that he read that, that, that God had, had written down, that he saw, he saw that what was going on is that people had, had, had pulled away from God. Uh, he realized that there was a big drift and God's people had gotten away. So he sent, so what he did, he sent word uh, to a prophetess named Hula. Funny name, but it's, uh, it's Hula, Huldan, Huldan. It doesn't say Huldan now, but it was Huldan, okay? <laughs> But, but but see but but he sent he, he sent word to her because he was concerned and in his in his question to her that, that he his question to her was he was asking her what will become of my people because after he read the scrolls after he read the, the, the scrolls he wanted to know what's going to become of my people at that time the kings at that, at that time the kings were, were now they were now relying more on on the prophet and the prophetess than on the seers because. They know that the seers weren't really giving them the truth, but the prophet and the prophets were giving them the truth, so they relied more on that. And that's what we need to do nowadays, you know. We need to rely more on what the what the what, what God is saying through the prophetic word or, or, or through or through uh, the prophetess or the prophet. You know, we we have the, the apostle, the pastor, the evangelist, the prophet, the pastor, and the teacher, you know. But but we know we have teachings in church, right? We have, a, we have a pastor in church, that, okay? We have an evangelist, but we're not hearing whether from the prophet nor for the, nor for the apostle. And that's what the word, that's what the church needs now, is to hear what thus says the Lord. What is God saying? You know? And then the, the apostle is the one that, that comes in and, and, and he settles people down. You know, you okay. You're, you're out of order. You're out of order. You're doing this. But the prophet is the one that, that, that goes out and tells, thus says the Lord. So there was a Hosea he wanted to know, okay, what is God saying? What is God, why, why are my people out, out there uh, lost out there? And, and he was concerned. Not that, he, not that he was mad at them, but he, he had, a, he had a, a heart of, of a pastor. And he was concerned about that. So he, so he sent out for, uh, uh, for, for the information. In verses uh, 14 uh, to 27, I'm not going to read them all, but we're going to skip over them. In verses 14 to 27, and in 14, it, it talks about uh, the law, 
read to the king. He said that in, in a founding book of the law of the Lord and, and given by Moses. And in verse 15 it talks about how he found the book of the law of, of God and, and, uh, and he delivered it, he delivered to, 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 to the king. And he says in verse 16, he says, in the book, the, the, the king received the book. And then way back in, in verse 18, he says, and the priest has, has given the book to, to the king, and he read, he read before it, and he read it to the king. And in verse 19, and it came to the pass, when the king had heard the words of the law, that he rent his, his clothes. When he heard what was in those scrolls, because they went through all that, I didn't want to read through all that, but when they went through all that, they brought in the book, and he read, he, he heard what, the, what they had said, he, read, he heard the word of God, and he began to, to rent his clothes, he began, to, he, he began to cry out to God, he began to humble himself, and, and, and uh, seek God, because what was going on in, 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 the, in, in, the, in the city, and said that, and then in verse 21, he says, so he says, go inquire of the Lord for me, and he's telling this, he's one of his men. He says, go inquire for the Lord for me and for them that are left in Israel and Judah concerning the word of the book that was that is found. For great for great is it for great is the wrath of the Lord that is that is poured out upon us, because our fathers have not kept the word of the of the Lord to do after all that is written in the book. So they, they got away from the laws of God. They got away from the laws of God. And that's what he was concerned about. He said, go find out what's going to happen right now. Many have got away from the word of God. This is God's word. This is, this is a scroll. And people have gotten away from it. And so, and so, we, we have to, we as, as born again believers have to examine ourselves. You know, we have to have a legacy of helping somebody. You know, we we might not be a king or nothing like that, but we have we, we have we have we have a legacy to to leave. You know, to help others. You know, who are we helping? How are we doing things? Are we doing what God has called us to do? And He says here in uh, in verse twenty in verse twenty two, He said that. That, that that they went to the they went to the to the prophet Halula, remember her name is, and, and and they and they asked her and they uh, they spoke to her to that effect of, of the letters, and then in verse twenty three, it talks about the wrath will come. She gave them she gave them four four uh, uh, predictions that were going to take place. In verse twenty three, it says, and she answered them. Tell, tell to, to the guys that, that went up to them to talk to her. And she answered them, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Tell ye the man that sent you to me. And I go, he's talking about uh, Josiah. Go tell him, number one, that thus says the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon this place. That was one of the first things. I'm going to bring evil upon, upon this place. And that was what she was predicting through the word. And upon the inhabitants thereof, even even in even the curses that are written in in, in in the book, which they have read before the king of Judah, he said because because they have forsaken me and have burned uh, burned incense on, uh, unto other gods, and they have and that they might uh, provoke me to anger, and all the works of their of the other works of their hands. And and th and therefore, this is the second one. And therefore, my wrath shall shall be poured upon them. This is the second one. My wrath. You tell them that my wrath is going to be poured upon them. And in this place, and sh and, sh and shall not be and shall not be able to quench. And as and as for the king of Judah, who who sent you to uh, to inquire of the Lord. So shall you say unto him, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the words which was which have, which thou hast, hast heard, because your heart was was tender, 
and thou did, did humble yourself before before God, when thou hearest his words against this place and, and against the inhabitants thereof, and, and, and you humble us you humble yourself before me and just rent your clothes and weep before me. I have even heard I have even heard thee also says the Lord. And, then, and he said, Behold, I will gather thee to thy fathers. He said, I'm gonna the third prediction. I'm gonna gather you to your father, and thou shalt not and, and thou shalt be gathered to thy to, to thy grave in peace. You're gonna go to your grave in peace, he said. Neither shall your eyes see the evil. That's the fourth one. Your eyes are not gonna see the evil. And I will bring upon this place that I will bring upon this place and upon the inhabitants of the same. So they brought the king the word again. So what is she telling them? She says, she's telling them, he says, she, she's telling them that, that, that because, because he humbled himself, because he humbled himself and, 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 and he went before the Lord after, when he heard what was happening, that he said that that you're that that you're you're not going to see the wrath that's going to come on the people because 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna keep them I'm gonna keep them all the days of your life. So in other words, uh, for uh, for a, a whole entire generation, a whole entire generation uh, received grace because of one integrity and integrity of one man. See, God was ready. God was ready to pour out His evil, His His, uh, his wrath upon them. But when what Josiah read that book, or when he read that what, what was in the in the book, then he humbled himself. He, he, he prayed. He rent his clothes, and he went before God and asked for grace, asked for mercy for the people. And that's why she said that that she's not going. That God said, "I'm not going to. I'm not going to take your life." Well, I'm not going to take their life until after you pass away. You will not see what happened. And that, and that one man, Josea, he had a lot, a lot to, to overcome. He repented before God when he heard the word. And, and, and they, spared, they spared the whole generation. The whole generation of people were spared because of him. But it wasn't that it wasn't that oh yeah well he's Josiah you know he's uh, he's he's uh, he, he was he was doing okay he, you know he had a good family you know he was growing up good you know, he, he came from a good family no he had a, a lot to overcome the Bible said that that his grandfather his grandfather Manasseh was a Hitler of the Old Testament. He came out from a family that, 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 was, that was corroded, corrupted, and everything. His, his grandfather was, well, go to me to Second Kings. Go back for a minute. Hold your face there and go to Second Kings. We're on Second. Oh, Second. No. Second Kings, chapter 21. He was, he was known as, in other words, as a Hitler of the of the Old Testament. Second Kings chapter twenty one and verse sixteen. Moreover Manasseh shed innocent blood very much till he had filled Jerusalem from one end to another, besides his sin wherewith he made Judas to sin, and doing the and doing that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. Can you imagine what this man, I mean, filled the whole city with blood. What's happening now? They, what's happening now with abortion? The same thing. Aborting babies, even after they're, after, after they're, after they're born out of the womb, everybody, people are saying it's okay. They're selling, they're, they're selling the, their limbs, you know, like a, like a pick apart, you know. That's what's going on in the world today. And people aren't saying very much about it. People aren't doing it. You see all what's going on in transgender and all that? 
yesterday, yesterday I saw uh, on, uh, on a Christian program uh, in Disneyland, they, they made a movie uh, of a, a, a little girl was, was, was thinking she was the Antichrist, right? She was the Antichrist, and she was a witch and everything. Kids, they're feeding in the junk at Disneyland. It's a demon movie. Huh? It's a demon movie. It's a demon movie. They call it a demon movie. And, 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 and that little girl and her mother were sitting there talking about it. They were interviewing them. And she, she thought she was the Antichrist. And this is what's going on in places like that. And, 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 and the preachers were saying, that the people on TV were saying, kind of keep away from the places because we're, we're, we're feeding food to the devil. We're feeding, we're feeding, we're feeding the people that are going there and, and, and we're, we're, we're compromising with people like that. And, and, and so not only in places like that, but, but in the schools. Now what they're doing in schools with, with our children. They're having this gay thing, they're doing all that. And, 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 and they seem that they have more power than we do and we follow the, we're full of the Holy Ghost. What is our legacy? Are we going to be part of the people that say, you know what, let's put a stop to this thing. Let's stop this in the name of Jesus. Let's come against Hosea. Saul, a 16-year-old boy, became king at the age of 8. And he saw all that. And he says, let's put a stop to it. At age 16, he started clearing up the houses. He started cleaning, uh, cleaning everything up. And he put a stop to it, to what was going on. Manasseh filled Jerusalem from one end to the other with the blood. And Josiah, Josiah's father, was killed by his own by his own uh, officers, his own people. That, 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 that's what this guy came out of, Josiah came out of, yet, yet. Yet he, he, yet he went after God more than anything else. He didn't allow his, his, his tender age to pull him back into the world. He didn't allow his tender age to, 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 uh, to, to uh, how we say, to, to give in, you know, to adults like that. The Bible says that, 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 that Amen did what was wrong. That was, that was his legacy. He did what was wrong. That was probably what they wrote in his epitaph. They put it in his tombstone. Here's Amen, the king. They did what was wrong. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that, that he, he had made a, he had, he had a, built uh, idols, idolatry all over Judah? Idolatry, you, you know, and, and, and there was, there was, a, there was a adultery, there was sex. Everything was mess, messed up in there. Even, even the Bible talks about bestiality. If you don't know what bestiality means, it means having sex with an animal. That, that, that was happening, you know. And, and, and you look around us right now. Look around us right now. Look at what's going on in the news. They're almost getting to that point. Because they don't care anything anymore about, 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 about the kids, about anything. The devil is running rampant and God's people are, are, are not doing anything about it or talking about it or, or praying about it or seeking God about it. We have to have a legacy, people. Even if, even if, even if, even if we're not uh, some big shots, nothing like that, but something got to be done for, with us, glory to God, to, have, to allow God to work through us to stop what was going on in, in, in our neighborhood, in our schools, in our job, wherever they're at, glory to God. The devil cannot have this country. The devil cannot have the United States of America. Amen. The devil cannot have this people. Amen. This, 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 this United States of America was given birth by, by God. Uh, One nation under God, indivisible, oh, with liberty and justice for all, glory to God. Amen. That was the word of God. And so we have to, we have to wake up. Manasseh was, when Josiah became king 
at the eight years old. Can you imagine how many kids at eight years old right now are being made transgenders? There, there was a, 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 a young lady that came out on TV yesterday, yesterday. And, and her mother, her, her mother encouraged her to become a boy. And she's about 20 some right now. When she was about 13, they encouraged her. Now she says, I don't want this. She's got no breasts, no more. She's, now she's a, she changed back to a woman. You know, but she says, if I would have known, if only if I would have known, if somebody would have helped me. My mother didn't help me, she encouraged me. I wouldn't be the way I am right now. So she wrote a book and they had her on TV, you know, trying to tell the, the, the parents, the parents are blind. They're doing these things. The wrath of God is going to hit. Amen. The Bible says that we're going to have to answer for all these things. Amen. For our, 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 our prayer, our, our, for our sin of, 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 a, of, of commission and the sins of omission. Omission because we don't really, oh, I, I don't want to look. Um, as long as I don't see what's going on, it's okay. Can't, can't hide our eyes anymore. Isaiah didn't stop. Doing, doing, doing what he was, what was right all his life, all his life he didn't stop doing what was right. Listen, you can, uh, you can't, well, you couldn't pick your parents. You couldn't pick your parents, but you can pick your models. Your hope. You know? your hope. You can pick your home. Your models, a model. That's why I like Praise Chapel. We have discipleship. That's why it, it's good because we have a we're in a place where we, we can disciple we disciple people. We need we need more model people, men, men, you know, models and women also to be models for, for you know uh, for for other kids, you know. You know, this, this mother that the, the parents are, are are taking their kids to these doggone stupid. What are they? Transgender things in their, oh, their drag queens. Drag queens. Taking their kids to the drag queen things. God, they're gonna have to answer to God. And and, and, the, and the, the the Bible tells us, the Bible tells us in Second Chron Second Chronicles seven and fourteen that in my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. Amen. So help us up and seek my face and turn from the wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land and I will 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 clean I will heal them and I will clean their land. But it's us that gotta humble ourselves before God. And turn, maybe we're not doing wicked things, but turn from the wicked ways and said, but maybe we're we're not doing wicked things, but we're not doing what God tells us to do. We're allowing things to I tell you, you can't change your past, but you can rise above it. You can rise above it. That's why we got born again. That's why we're that's why we're new creatures in Christ. Because we're not down in the dumps anymore. We're not in a miry clay. We're not in a in, in, in that in that. Like, like we, we under the under under the barrel, looking up to the bottom of the barrel, we can rise above what we are now. We can continue to rise. <coughs> your parent may have given you your DNA, but Jesus will give you a new beginning. No. We have we have his DNA. We have his DNA. Listen to. Watch, uh, go maybe one, just to Ephesians chapter 5. <clears throat> Ephesians chapter 5. <clears throat> and verse 1 and 2. Be ye therefore 
followers of God as dear children. And walk in love as Christ also has loved us and has given us himself and has given himself for us as an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling Savior. Follow the way of God. You gotta follow his way. Well, I'll follow his, his path. <coughs> Your path doesn't have to be your prison. Your past, you were born again, but your past doesn't have to be a prison. Some people need to go through deliverance because people are still still bound to the to the to, to their past. Once we got born again, we're set free, but yet we, we're, we're hanging on to our past, and 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 and, and, and we're like a prison in, in that in that past. So, you know. Maybe maybe we're not in, in chains, but our mind yeah. is in the prison, you know. And we're there, and we and we wake up and go to bed with the same thing over and over and over again. And we become we become bondage to to our past. So don't let that past be your prison. Don't let it don't let it hold you back. People need to get set free. We need to go to prayer and then, and ask God to forgive us, you know. Forgive us over and over again until until we have delivered or until the chains are broken. We have a say in our life. We have a say in our own life, in our legacy. We have a voice in our destiny. You know, we have a voice in our destiny. No matter how old you are, no matter how young you are, no matter what, you still have, you still got to be here on earth. Maybe we'll live 10, 20, 30, 40 more years. But even if you don't live, what am I saying, only one year, but you still got to, you know, leave something there. Because, because, because God is watching us. God is, is is seeing what's wrong with our nation today, with our people today. That's why I believe that he's holding back. Yes. He's holding back. Mm. Holding back. Mm. But the Bible says that he will not wink anymore. You know, he not, will not wink anymore. No, he's not going to cover his eyes anymore. You have a voice. And you have a choice in the path you want to take. You have a choice. People say, the devil made me do it. No, no, no. The devil cannot make you do anything. Because the only way he can do it is when you give him the authority to do it. When you give him the permission to do something, then he can do it. We need to be a conduit. We need to be a conduit to the Word of God to reach other people that are in trouble. Mm -hmm. We need to be that conduit uh, to, like, 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 a, like in a, uh, I get, a, I, I, I get, I get blessed with a, with a uh, BP, Baldwin Park, uh, Jesse, you know, oh. there's a, the lawn, you got BP in it. Have you seen him teach the kids? Mm -hmm. oh, man, he's got it. I mean, they, yeah. I mean, they, they, they go around him like a man. He's like, like he's be with honey, man. He, they, they, and, and he just ministers to them. Man, I don't know how he does it, but he does it. See, mm -hmm. because because God has given him a heart for the kids, for, the well, for everybody, you know. Yeah. But 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 he he, he 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 talks to them right down where they're at. He sits on the floor with them, you know, and talks to them. He sings to them and everything. Huh? Yeah, they do, you know. And, and see, there's a legacy for him right there. He's a legacy. He's, he has a legacy. And, and and nobody knows about it, you know. He's not going to tell you that I do, you know. Not. But God sees all that he does. He said, whatever you do to the little children, you do it up to me. So you got to see him. got to see him. What he doing to the little children, he's doing it up to God. God's going to tell them, well done, faithful, good and faithful servant. 
So you have a choice in the path you're going to take. So choose well, and someday, you know, choose what you what choose well, what you're doing, what you're going to do. Choose well, because someday, maybe generations from now, somebody's going to, you know, thank God for your legacy. Say, oh, I'm glad they were there. I'm glad they were there. You know, I'm glad. You know, how many people? Uh, uh, <clears throat> Like my like like I, I look at my mom, you know. She grew up and she went through a lot, but yet at the last she, she, she loved the Lord, you know. I can say that she used to walk through a she used to go evangelizing there in, in Tijuana and Senada, walking through the streets by herself in the dark. You know. That's so hard. Evangelizing. Doing that, you know. I said, Mama, what are you doing right there? Ay, mi hijo, hay gente que está muriendo sin Dios. She's up at that short, but she had a legacy to write again. Yeah. We need that. We need, to, we need to say, okay, what are we doing? What can we do? You know, how can we help somebody come out of that, 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 that uh, prison. the prison that they're in? Because my God, you know, especially, especially those, I, 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 uh, I have a burden to pray for those that are in the, that are in the transgender movement, the woke movement. Yeah. Because if their parents are helping them get in there, their, those kids are, are lost. Maybe they don't want to be that, but their parents are encouraging them and they're pushing them in that, you know. And that, that's where my heart is at to pray. I can't go out there, you know, but I can just pray for them. And every night I say, Lord, Lord, do something, Lord, do some, help us, you know, to do something to get these kids out of that, you know. They don't know what they're doing. They, they, they're, 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 they're trying to change them. What how God created them, they're changing them there. We are. We are. We are. Have a legacy. We can decide our legacy. You know. Think about it. You know. Think about it. what's going on in the world. I don't know if you guys watch the news. I watch a lot of news. <laughs> I watch a lot of news, and, and especially. Especially the, the the Christian programs. The Christian news. Huh? The, the Christian news. The Christian news. Especially the Christian news. I, I watch we watch we watch that a lot. You know. Because they, they, they tell the truth and they bring it in with the word. And and and, 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 they, and they expose what's going on. Even with the even with the with, with what's going on with Trump. They're exposing all that. They're exposing all that. You know, there's so much truth in there. We don't hear it in the other, in the other TVs. We don't hear it. But we hear it in a Christian program. And they're not going to lie. They're not going to lie. But, uh, amen. Those of you who are out there on, on a live stream, maybe uh, you're lost out there. and uh, Maybe you're caught up in this transgender thing. Or you know somebody is caught up with that. And, and, and they don't know the Lord, and you're saying, you know what? I, I want to help them. But you can't help them until you get born again. And, and, and so we're asking you today, if, if you don't know Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior of your life, and you're saying, uh, Pastor Joe, I, I want to I get born again. I want to know what it is. I want to experience the joy, of the joy of the Lord. And today, I just want to lead you in a prayer. And if you say this prayer with me, just say that, Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to forgive me. I recognize that Jesus is your son. I confess my sins. I renounce all my sins. And Jesus, I ask you into my life. I thank you, Lord, that even right now, I'm born again. Wash by the blood. In Jesus' name I pray. 
Amen. If you don't have a church, we're over there in Baldwin Park. We're at 13831 Ramona Parkway and the corner of Ramona and Merced Avenue. We're there at 9 o'clock in the morning, Sunday. We'd like to see you there. Goodbye. God bless you. Amen.